Okay. So what we've got here is I kickstarted a uh, Scale 75's recent uh, new paint line. Um, they're basically kind of a, uh, what is it? A challenger to Games Workshop's contrast paints. And I will admit I went a little bit overboard and ordered some extra. I ordered the top tier for the Kickstarter, and then I ordered uh, two painting, uh, miniature painting guides by some really fabulous artists, and they're books that I haven't found anywhere uh, here in Texas. And I ordered an extra set of their basic paints, because I've always wanted to try the Scale 75 paints. Again, not available in the hobby shops here where I live. So let's see what everything looks like. I'm really excited. Thanks to COVID, this took about three months after they told me it shipped. It's crazy. I'm excited. Look at all this stuff. All right, I'm going to move the box off to a little bit to the side and stack everything up next to it. There we go. All right, there we go. There's the fantasy, the basic paint set that I ordered. Fantasy Games Collection. That's right, 48 of their fantasy line. Unnatural Fresh, Creatures from Hell paint line, paint set, Ogres and Goblins, Elven Colors, Steampunk, and Shadows of Doom. We'll open up the box first, then I'll probably come back through and we'll take a look at what's inside, what the actual paints look like. They're dropper bottles, I love that. Valid for airbrush, bright color range. Oh, comes with an aluminum tray. I didn't realize that. That'll be nice. And as you can see here on the side of the box, normally you have to buy them as sets of colors. So yeah, it was kind of nice to get them all like this. All right, here's one of the books. Color Harmony, Inside the Artist's Palette by Mike Blank. Artist. Nice heavy paper. Really nice photos here. Lots of how-tos, step-by-step step back here in the back. Looks like he mostly does 75 millimeter minis. And for those of you not familiar with Scale 75, it's a European paint line from Spain. Fallen Frontiers, the art book. Oh, I forgot I got an art book with this. Love the sci-fi minis. Okay, oh, here's the other painter. A Colorful Mind. Oh, hey, this one's wrapped up. What do we got? Okay, I'll walk across there. Did that even cut me? I don't think so. There we go. Nice hardback. This 
studio. Again, some examples. Like that big flag, all that freehand. Of course, some Games Workshop, Doctor Doom, Bane. Obviously, an artist as well, just a traditional 2D artist, as well as a miniature painter. Banshee. Colorful mind. All right, now here we go to the actual Kickstarter. I don't know if you can see it down there. I believe this was the wizard level, but it... Oh, crap. Can I even get this out? It comes in this big wooden box as well. That's the name of the line. Check that out. It's a big wooden crate. Cool. The hinges. I like the lock on the front. Like the lock on the front. There it goes. Well, some extra packing. Comes with a couple of extras. Color wheel. Instant color. Little button. A nice vinyl sticker and metal alchemy thrash metal some kind of bonus metal paint brush rest and like I said the button oh no it's a can op it's a bottle opener <laughs> Some kind of cool bases thrown in and a little mold line remover take help take off the mold lines of your minis a little six well pallet and Scale color synthetic weathering brush. Hmm. All right. As you can see, look at that. It's all in layers here. So, let out nice little paint racks with all of the instant color paints in it. of primers, acrylic medium, this is kind of a is it black, no gray, so we got kind of an off-white, a bone, a gray, and a straight up white primer, holy charm, ice charm, 
and bone charm primers, instant color primers, and an acrylic medium called Dispel Magic. Okay. As well. And again, all of those. And then another nice little paint tray. So you can pull them out. And instant color, what is this? Oh yeah, a little how to use them guide. Kind of nice there as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got everything in there. All fits in there nicely. I don't know if I'll keep all of this in there. Uh, just, just as my instant color holder. Or if I'll make this another traveling paint case for painting in other locations. Because this all fits in there real nice and snug. And I like the little locking flap on it. Anyway, there you go. This right here was the Kickstarter for Scale 75's Instant Color. The actual Kickstarter is just what's here in the box. In the Instant Color crate. Like I said, this was like the highest tier. You could There were like three below it. One where you just picked a range of instant colors. Another one that got you just basically one layer. And another one, this one that got you with the whole thing with this fancy crepe box. All right. Thank you very much.